Let's call on our starting lineup from our PLDT High Speed Hitters. Team captain wear jersey number three, Mika Irene Reyes. At number two, Marianne Mendrez. Wearing jersey number 12, Rhea Katrina Dimaculangan. At number 13, Del Palomata. Number 14, Michelle Catherine Morente. And at number 19, Javelin Grace Prado. Starting libero, number 8, Kathleen Faith Arado. Head coach, Mr. Raul Benson Ricafort. Calling on our cream line, cool smashers. Team captain with jersey number 12, Julia Melissa de Guzman. At number 6, Jeanette Panaga. Wearing jersey number 7, Michelle Teresa Gumabao. Number 13, Celine Eliza Domingo. Number 18, Diana May Carlos. And number 23, Jessica Margaret Galanza. Starting libero, where's number 11, Kyla Liana Atienza. Head coach, Mr. Sherwin Meneses. This is regulation of the games and amusement. Mitch Morente with 14 in their last game. 13 for Palomata, Reyes with 10. A special mention, Mayan Mendres, nine points coming off a 21-point performance against the five-setter win against the Angels. In the meantime, for the Cool Smashers, Tots Carlos, 17, Michelle Gumabao with 11. And no Gemma Galanza in their last game, that three-set win versus Army, but she's back after missing one game. Uh, she, they said she was just under the weather, so I'm sure Cool Smasher fans are happy she's back on the floor. Uh, her last game uh, was against a crossover. She had 25, so it's going to be a tough afternoon for Kat Arado and the defense of these high-speed hitters. Now it's going to be a very interesting game because both teams coming off a win, both teams yeah. having winning streaks so far, and both teams really knowing to control the game against their opponents. So it's going to be interesting how both teams will work with their weaknesses and strengths in this game. A serve into the net to start things off for league's number one setter. One of the best servers as well in the conference. Yeah, exactly, and Dreamline is actually number one in serving a department that they're actually very good at and they might want to maximize, especially that PLDT is also number one in receiving. Prado coming off an eight-point performance. Wow! wow. What a way to set down the number one spiker, I am. And they really prepared for this for sure because PLDD is one of the teams who, are, who is very hard in terms of reading their opponent, getting data, and also studying them. So with your number one spiking player, when you're playing against them, you should be sure that you're able to guard them well. And the high-speed hitters aren't known for their spiking. They're just ranked sixth out of the teams here in the conference, Mea and Mendrez gets her first point. Now Mea and Mendrez with a perfect placement there. Now even with Atienza in front of that ball. Number nine spiker in the conference, averaging about 31% efficiency. 3-0 start for the high-speed hitters. A bad pass there from Tots Carlos. Chance ball here for the high-speed hitters. Arado. Del Palomata knocks it in. 4 nothing start. Uh, so far, the attacking of the PLDD high-speed hitters really working well for them. In terms of placement, it has been clean attacks for them so far in the set. 4-0. The last loss of PLDT was February 7. Same day last month. Same date last month. So it's been a month since they experienced the loss. That's how good they've been playing. No, and for sure, they're playing confident with that kind oh, yeah. of uh, momentum. Mitch Morente. That is the first point of the Coast Masters courtesy of an attack error as we said in courtside, uh, Jaime Ascalon. 
Well, for BLDT, they understand that they're going up against a hard-hitting Dreamline 2 Smashers, which is why when I asked Kat Arado if she was going to have her hands full today, digging and receiving, sabi niya, it might be the exact opposite because in the past, she's know, she knows that Dreamline actually doesn't target her, but targets her teammates, which is why they practice that exactly in practice. Now, if you ask Kat Arado, she emphasizes that she has complete trust in her teammates, especially in her energetic partner in crime to step up, which is Mitch Morente. I take it back to the panel as we have a challenge by the PLDT High Speed Headers. A challenge is a net touch. So the point has not been awarded yet to the Cool Smashers. It's still 4-0 depending on the results or result of this challenge. Well, going back to that report by Jaime, uh, I don't think it's going to be a problem for Kat Arado to dig to receive. She's a number one digger. She's a number one receiver. So obviously, Cool Smashers are going to avoid her. Exactly. But even with the Cool Smashers trying to avoid her, Kat Arado is really known as someone na naagawan niya yung mga teammates niya. She makes sure she covers up for them so that they can focus on the offense. Now, that's why she has been one of the excellent oh, yeah. liberos here in the league. Which has made... PLDT, the number one digging and the number one receiving team. Because it's not just Catarado. I mean, Jovi Prado in the last game, 14 digs, 10 receptions. I mean, everybody steps up defensively for PLDT. Let's look at the net touch challenge here. Looks like, yeah, it looks like wishful thinking there for Coach Rado in the fourth. So no net touch. Unsuccessful challenge, only one challenge remaining for Coach Roderick of Fort. The point goes to the Cool Smashers. Uh, and PLDT def definitely wants to start strong here because we know that Dreamline is one of the teams who keeps on getting better uh, as the game continues. So this ace for Galanza, the number four server in the conference. Galanza. With a perfect serve there, targeting the corner of the court of the PLDT high-speed hitters. A lucky serve. Let's see if she can replicate. Good receive from Arado. Mayan Mendrez. Yes! A uh, short 2.1 for the Bulls Packers as PLDT tries to retake momentum. Maria de Macolangan with a fast low set to Mendres and Mendres maximizing the spaces in the block of Panaga and Gumabao. Two points right away for Mean Mendres. Del Palomata set to serve, coming off again a 13 point performance. Prior to that, 12 points against the Angels. Excellent receive there from Di Macolangan. Mendres cross court is outside. That was a difficult angle for Mendrez. That was already out of system. She was trying to go for a cross court attack. So a couple of errors already for the high speed hitters. Only one service error from the Cool Smashers. Managa, two points in their win versus Army. One of the strengths as well of the PLDT high speed hitters. They have very tall middle blockers, middle attackers, so they can really power through tall blockers of the cool smashers as well. You see that Ray is maximizing the big space in the block of Domingo. Six serving three. That's going to be the third error for the high speed hitters. So far, PLDT is scoring their own points, but they're giving a lot of free points to the pool smashers. That's something that they need to work on as the game progresses because they don't want to give a lot of free points to a team that is already consistent in terms of scoring. That's right. Three of the four points of the pool smashers are freebies from the high-speed hitters. Domingo off the block of Mendrez. Domingo, also one of the spark plugs of the Dreamline Cool Smashers. We know what she is capable of. And for sure, she will be guarded well by the blockers of the PLD. Dimendres was actually in the right spot, but just late in the jump. Good serve by Gumabao. Dimakulangan sets it up for Reyes on a running attack. Dug up. 
Good save by the Guzman. Nope. Apparently not. Did not cross the in between the antenna. But it was good effort there by Gia de Guzman. We take another look here. Mendes actually gave her the space to save that ball. So seven, five high-speed hitters on top. Pancake save was good, but wasn't high enough to be saved. And that was actually good first touch and second touch. Wow. Cool Smashers were down by as many as four points. Now they can tie on the Tots Carlos serve. 17 points, 45% efficiency in their last game for Tots Carlos. Great receive by Mitch Morente. Reyes off the block. And that's one of the plays that Mika Reyes has, has been going to that slide attack. Very efficient in that combination play. Let's talk about the matchups or the matchup between these two bigs. Palomata, number 10 blocker, Domingo, number 7 in the league. Now, both middle blockers actually leading their team in terms of blocking and scoring as well. They're not just a threat in the net defense, but also a, th a threat in terms of offense because of their height. For said Domingo, also because of her speed. So let's see this matchup. It's interesting to see what both players will contribute today in terms of offense and defense for their teams. Three time UAAP champion Nika Reyes to serve a two point advantage here for the high speed hitters. Not a good pass from Kyla Tienza. Back row, touch Carlos. It is. Uh, right on the line. Right on the line. Don Carlos contributing and the uh, pipe attack that was already out of the system. Don Carlos, 38.2% efficiency. That's how good she is. And, uh, good enough for number two in terms of spiking. Service just outside for said Domingo. Committing a couple of errors on the service line, you know, making it a bit difficult for them to build the momentum here. So still a two-point cushion for the high-speed hitters. Dimakulangan, the number seven server, and currently ranked number two in setting. Guzman, little combination play with the Lanzas. Galanza. That was actually read well by the blockers of PLDT. They all three jumped with Galanza, but Dimakolangan wasn't able to anticipate that drop. De Guzman, a service error to kick things off here in the opening set. Good pass by Arado. Jovi Prado across court. Anaga saves it. Chance ball for the high speed hitters. Palomata. Carlos with a save from the back row. Here comes Galanza once again. What a kick from Arado. Mitch Morente fires one. And it is there's a block touch against the Bulls Nationals. No, but credit the point to Arado. Great receive and great digging for from her and all those rallies. But again, we know Mitch Morente as a player who can power through tall blockers or who can power through above the blockers. Eliza Valdez supporting the team. As she continues to try and get better and rehab. Good dig by Dimakulangan. Morente. Block by Pax Panaga. Panaga. 
And Galanza. First long rally we've seen so far. That may not have crossed the net for touches called against PLCC. And Coach Rodrigo Ford does not want to use his last challenge for that. No, di ba kulangan actually taking the risk of setting up Del Palomata a lot in all those rallies. Palomata was trying to go for a power tip but was unsuccessful there. A one point game, chance to tie on the Galanza serve for the Cool Smashers. Mendrez. Dug up by Atienza. Punched through by De Guzman. Di makulangan set sa Palomata again. Carlos. Dug up by Arado. Morente. Cross court. De Guzman with a great dig. Gumabao. Outside. I think, yeah. Coach Meneses is going to challenge this. It's insane. Head touch. Gumaba was actually trying to go for her comfortable zone, which was the cross court attack, but just too much angle there, and it actually lacked wrist action. Was that partly because that Palomata was there, Ayel, and you know, you get intimidated? No, I would say yes, because Del Palomata with her height, it's really intimidating. So it takes a lot of adjustment also in the part of the spiker and trying to figure out which angles she wants to go to. I, I feel this is, you know, a stab in the dark as well. I mean, it looked like it was way above the blockers or there's a there's net barely moved as well, right? A clear no touch on the net there. So unsuccessful challenge for the Cool Smashers. Both teams now with one challenge remaining. But also, it just shows how both coaches recognize this that every point is very important because they use their challenge early on the set. Back to a two-point cushion for the high-speed hitters. Uh, 11 serving nine here in the opening set. Good pass. Gumabao. Is good. With better first ball, Gia Dagasman is really able to set up well, on, always leaving her attackers with one blocker in front of them. You can see that Gumabo had so much space for her usual cross court attack, and Michelle Mor Morente wasn't ready for that. First point for Gumabo. We're back to a one point deficit. But that's been sort of a trend here at the opening set. Uh, yeah, uh, they come as close as one, but this match was just unable to get over that one point hump. And I would like to believe that they're committing errors because they're taking the risk to also score a point off service aces. Both teams with four errors each here in the opening set. Bad pass by Carlos. Gumabao is rejected. Galanza there for coverage. Carlos will try again. That's outside. Well, this fast low set of Gia de Guzman is really making the blockers, especially the middle blockers of the PLDT high speed hitters, work in today's game. But so far, they're doing well in that department, really guarding the attackers of the full smashers. De Guzman sets up Kumabao. That angle is just lethal when Kumabao gets a good look. Exactly, and that's also one thing that PLDT should recognize. One of her strengths is really going cross-court, so they might want to close that angle because she has been very successful so far in targeting that um, angle and that zone of the PLDT high-speed hitters. Nice pass by Prado. Mendrez down the line, it's just wide. Early on, was trying to go for cross court attacks, but Atienza has always been in perfect uh, placement. So she was trying to go for the down the line attack and that rally, but was unsuccessful. Morente. Domingo perfect set up Showing so much connection in the sequence. 
No blocker at all for Domingo there. And just like that, we're in our first deadlock of the opening set. 13 all. Chance to take the lead for the Cool Smashers. Miguelias against a single blocker. Pancake saved by Kyle Atienza. Chance ball for the high speed hitters. Here we go. Who does Dimaculangan go to? Back to Reyes. Fox Carlos. as well, setting up Domingo earlier, now Carlos just really confusing the blocking and the floor defense of the PLDT high-speed hitters. Cool smashers on a 4-0 run to take the lead. 14 serving 13, opening set. Mika Reyes takes one right back. As again, with better first touch, with better first ball, Dimakulaman is really able to set up her middles quickly. Uh, and it, it has been effective on their side so far. Second deadlock at 14 all. Midway through the opening set, Mayan Mendrez had one ace in their last game. Combination play, Fox Carlos, that's gone. Combination play, Carlos, with a Successful combination play there on the side of Dreamline, but again, it was read well by the blockers of PLDT, but Carlos just had the good intention in avoiding the blocks, and it was too powerful. Catarado couldn't contain it. Third point for Tots Carlos. Cool Smashers back on top. Prado gets it through. Galanza. Mendrez with a save. Jovi Prado once again. Kyle Atienza popping it up. Galanza with a push. Arado. He'll go back to Prado. Oh, Joey, Prado delivers. So the wing attackers of both teams really need to stay patient in today's game because there are a lot of out of system balls from the first touch. And at most times, if it's not perfect, it always goes to the outside hitters. Coach Correa. 15 all. Oh, another great delivery from the Guzman to Domingo. Again, that connection is very deadly on the side of the line. Bingo Plus, the first live streaming bingo in the Philippines. Already three deadlocks, one lead change after trailing by four points. Cool Smashers are up by one here, but it's anybody's opening set, Ayel. I mean, the way these two teams have been exchanging points has been exciting, to say the least. No, definitely. It's so hard to say who will get this set because everyone in both teams is contributing in terms of offense and defense. Del Palomata, as Dimakulangan tries to activate her middles, Prado with a push, pancake saved by Galanza. Palomata again. Back row, Fox Carlos. Yes! Carlos so far very efficient on the pipe attacks. Now the Guzman really going to one of the bigger options in terms of scoring on their side. Four points for Tots Carlos, and this is the biggest lead of the Cool Smashers at two points. A rare a miss received there from Catarado. Battle at the net, easily won by the 6 3 Del Palomata.
Oh, that was actually an overpass from Galanza. And uh, Palomata just really maximizing her height there. 22 excellent sets in their last game for Rea de Maculanga and Galanza. Through the block of Del Palomata. Uh, that wasn't the best of sets, but again, the fast low sets is working well on the side of the Creamline Pool Smashers. Galanza powering through the tower, Palomata. And I like who she challenged. I mean, of all the blockers, she went to Dell as well. 18 serving 16. Great serve by De Guzman. Arado sends it to Prado. Rejected by Panaga. So far, Dreamline doing well in all the departments. This is now the biggest lead of the Bull Smashers. Five out for Prado to the court. We'll listen in. Yung pinirang ko sa coverage, pagaling malayo lalo. Kung kaya pa, i-reset pa ng sa kayo. Di ba ang tayo? Sige, sige. Ako nga pala. Doon lang tayo, huwag mong wawala ah. Yung kahit galing sa pangit, gagawang parang na paraan. Pero kung kaya nyo, i-focus na ano mo. Oh, ipili talaga dyan. Ako. Tusing na ng konti. Sige, huwag mo na yung tinihin yung dito na sa nag-ipa. Ako na parang. Execute lang ang set play. Pag nagkabalikan yung one-on-one, lock pa rin ang line mo. Sino harap? Yung kaninang patulong sa kanya. That was a very technical time out on the side of Coach Raldrick of Fort give, giving specific instructions on receiving and setting as well because we've talked about it earlier. PLDT is number one in receiving and Greenline is number one in serving. So, so far, Greenline is the better team in terms of maximizing their strengths because their service is giving PLDT a more difficult time in terms of receiving and it ripples down. It has a domino effect also in their offense. Back to the biggest lead of the Cool Smashers at three points. Mitch Morente on an off-system play. She gets lucky, clips the net cord and crosses through the open space. Uh, Michelle Morente, even with a out-of-system set, it was already far from the net, trying to go for a placement there, a cut shot with the help of the net as well, scoring that point for her squad. Morente, that's her third point. High-speed hitters down by two. Great serve by Jovi Prado. Back-to-back -back points for the high-speed hitters. Great target there on the side of Jovi Prado. She knows that Tots Carlos is one of the... It's one of her weakness. Not the best receivers on the side of the Creamline Pool Smashers. That was the first ace for the high-speed hitters. Dumabao. Oh, another anger shot. Actually, both teams showing so much talent and versatility as well. Gumaba going that, going there the cross court attack between Mendres and Arado. One handed set. Gumakulang and what a save by Kat Arado. Gumaba again. This time goes down the line. Kat Arado is right there. Morente, oh, rejected by Dodge Carlos. She is fired up. Great timing there on the side of Carlos and Panaga. Really timing that attack from Morente. Solid block for both. No coverage at all on the side of the PLDT high speed hitters. Back to the biggest lead of the Cool Smashers at three. Morente, that didn't cross the net, that didn't hit the blockers, so it's four touches against the high speed hitters. This is now the biggest lead by the Cool Smashers. So it was because of no coverage at first, and now an attack there on the side of Morente. Earlier, Morente going for the down the line, but Carlos was there trying to go cross court, but was unsuccessful. Dimakulangan. Palomata! Finally stops the bleeding for the high speed hitters. This is something that Dimakulang has been trying to do, really activating the middles. And now successful in that be quick set to Palomata. Palomata using the spaces between the block. Only two points for Del Palomata so far as Jesse De Leon comes in for the first time. She scored a point against 
the Chargers in their last game. Former Tigress from USD. 19 serving 22. What a good pass there from Atienza. Wow. Look at that snap of the wrist there. Quick snap of the wrist there by Gumabao. But again, Dreamline is one of the teams who does well even without of system sets. They know how to time, they know when to jump, so it doesn't matter if their first ball is faulty because their attackers compensate well in terms of decision making and as well as uh, their form and risk action. Risa Sato in the game for the first time, coming off a five-point performance against the energy drink Lady Troopers. <laughs> Good pass from Prado. Here comes Reyes with the dunk. Yes! Her middles still going to the same combination for Mika Reyes because they've been successful so far and they're not changing it. Speaking of change, Coach Razi Kapoor fields in Wendy Ann Simana and uh, Erika Santos on the floor. Samana did not score in their last game against the Chargers. Santos coming off a seven-point performance. Three-point game. Ooh. That hurt. Very crucial error there. Second service error for the high speed hitters, but that puts them in a hole. A four set point hole to be exact. Santos. Yeah. Single-handed set for the Guzman. Domingo can't get the kill. And there it is. Second time round, and San Domingo finishes the set off. Well, that wasn't the perfect contact with the ball for Domingo. Not the best of connection as well. But a point is a point for the Creamline Cool Smashers. Five points for Tots Carlos, Domingo, and Gumaba with four each. Meantime, Reyes with five for the high speed hitters as the Cool Smashers win set number one by five. Five twenty, Cool Smashers, after training by four points, gets the win against the high-speed hitters. And we we have some highlights for you from set number one. Now, both teams actually started strong in that set. But again, it was Dreamline who was more consistent until the end of set one. We, had, we saw a lot of contributions from Domingo, as well as Gumabao and Carlos. But the PLDT high-speed hitters as well, showing some variation in their attack. Arado had an excellent game in terms of digging and receiving. Dimakolangan also going a lot of times to her middle attackers, but it wasn't enough for them to get that set because of their errors. Not just in the service line, but a couple of errors as well on attacks. In terms of attacks, we can see that uh, Creamline had two more compared to PLDT, so it's not as dominating as we expected. But again, what worked for the Creamline Cool Smashers was their blocking and their serving. It's not a lot in terms of numbers, but also in serving, they really challenged the first ball of the PLDT high-speed hitters, and both teams really limiting their error. So at this point, it's very important for the PLDT high-speed hitters to be more consistent and efficient as well in terms of, uh, of attacking because they're doing well on digging, but they couldn't convert points. Meanwhile, that's one department that the Cool Smashers is really doing well. Well, what you love to see as well from, you know, the offense of both teams is how they're 
getting everybody involved from the wings to the middles. We saw attacks from Prado uh, to Mendrez, and we saw, like what you mentioned, Mika Reyes del Palomata for the high speed hitters. For the cool smashers, so many as well. We had, we even had some back row attacks. Uh, Tots Carlos from the back row, Michelle Gumabao. Uh, Galanza and then said Domingo Panaga also attacking so it's a well-balanced offensive uh, you know display for both teams in the opening set which no. is why it was a close one no exactly both teams showcasing their teamwork so it's hard to say who will get this set and who will get this match because at this point no one is taking control of the game they would have like a short momentum but the other team converts right away so it's a matter of starting strong and ending strong for this both teams well adjustments that need to be made let's let's talk about that uh, let's start with the high speed hitters no they really have to maximize their strength in terms of first ball that's one thing that um, coach Raldrick Aport was demanding earlier but also with the out of systems they really have to make sure that the attackers can adjust well and just work their placements because that's one thing that the cool the cool smashers is doing right now because as we have seen in the first set they didn't have a lot of perfect passes but the attackers made sure that they're able to adjust in, in the in the out of system sets uh, you, saw, you saw an ace from Joby Prado in the meantime for the cool smashers uh, after the five point win in the opening set any adjustments they need to make no, I, I, I believe in terms of adjustments it's, it's more in their blocking but I wouldn't say a lot of adjustments because they played very consistent in the first set I believe for them they just have to continue what they're doing it's more of the adjustment needs to come from the CLB's high speed hitters a spectacular block you saw from Del Palomata uh, the we mentioned she is one of the top blockers number 10 in terms of blocking in the AFC. A dig there by Dimakulangan. Here comes Morente. Yes! Morente using the smaller blocker there, going for that down the line attack. Actually, maximizing the space between the block of Galanza and Panaga. Morente has four, three attacks, one block, and Again, just like the opening set, it's a good start for the high-speed hitters. A good start, but it's always a matter of sustaining that momentum for them. Mendrez sends it over underhand. A free ball. Panaga puts it away. Oh, with better first ball, Gia de Guzman was really able to go for the combination plays that is really confusing the blockers of the PLDT high-speed hitters. No, both blockers actually late there and trying to block Panaga in that sequence. Second point for Pangs Panaga. And the first attack point for the Cool Smashers here in set number two. Morente. Box Carlos through the block of Morente. Quick to react. Mendres rejected by Panaga. Kumabao and Panaga there. Powering Mendres to go for the kill block. It was hard to go for that cross-court attack because Tanaga was all over that ball already. All of the two points of the Cool Smashers coming from Banks Panaga here in the second set. Uh, service error from Galanza as we check in with Jaime Ascalon. Eric and Ayala you know, having a chance to speak to Coach Sherwin. He does understand the magnitude and gravity of today's game, which is why he told the girls not to get lost in all the hype and all the fans because we have one simple mission, which is to win this ball game. He does tell the girls, let's be extra patient than we usually are because we can expect PLDT to be gritty and have long rallies, which is why they are ready for that in today's game. Now, yeah, if you ask Gia de Guzman, what is the strategy? What is the game plan to win this ball game? She simply answered that she had the same answer as her coach. I take it back to the panel as PLDT is up for the three. All right, thank you, Jaime. Well, these girls are, I mean, you know, coming through the UAAP for both teams. You know, they're, they're obviously accustomed to managing all the external noise, right? No, exactly. And Creamline Cool Smashers as a team, they're very intact. We can see the great chemistry, the great communication. So for them, it's really just a matter of, you know, executing whatever they practice and training. But again, for the PLDT High Speed Hitters, after that great um, power tip from Mika Reyes, 
Uh, they're in a new system right now, so it's a matter of executing and adapting in the system. But again, we've talked about it earlier. They're doing well in terms of winning streaks and momentum. But at this point, they really have to be able to execute those in-game adjustments, as you, as you have mentioned earlier, especially that Dream Line is doing well so far. Service ace for the high-speed hitters. For Mitch Morente, that's going to be her fifth point and her first service ace and a three-point lead once again. Back to the biggest advantage of the high-speed hitters. Thoughts by us. Again, perfect combination play on the side of Green Line. No blockers jumping with Carlos there. Micareas was late in reading that set from Gia de Guzman. And thoughts Carlos already with seven points. And so far, a lot of teen attacks on the side of Green Line. A rare service error there for Kumaba, who's part of the number one serving team in the tournament. Another combination play, and another point for Thoughts Carlos, back-to-back -back points. No, and we know Gia de Guzman is someone who sets up the player who is the most hottest in, uh, in the league. And so far, Thoughts Carlos on fire in terms of attacking. Back row attack for Mendrez. Gumabao picking it up. Galanza. Three straight points here for the Cool Smashers, and they are within one. The Cool Smashers already picking up their momentum here. The low fast sets from the Guzman is really working. Even with Arado there to defend that ball, she wasn't able to contain the speed of the attack of Galanza. Chance to tie on the Thoughts Carlos serve. Seven serving six. Back row, Thoughts Carlos with a push. Pucarellas with great timing at the net. Oh, Gemma Galanza, even with two established blockers, ties the game. Oh, but again, we're not surprised that Galanza is able to do that because we, we know what she is capable of. She's very talented, very versatile. She can vary her attacks and can always power through even tall blockers in front of her. Three unanswered points by the Cool Smashers, and again, a chance to take the lead. That is on the line, service ace. It's the first one for Thoughts Carlos, and they go on top, 8-7, our first technical timeout in the second set. Let's take a look at the tweet sent to us uh, for this first game. Linzel Reyes said, excited to see the monster blocks from the MVs and the smashing spikes of the wingers from these two teams. Nick said, I'm so excited about this matchup. Why setters, formidable middle blockers, fearless wing spikers, and their reliable liberos. Best of luck to both teams. And Porpran said, Grabe block ni Morente, Naka, nakakagiba ng bahay. <laughs> and we know Morente as a player who's really capable of you know, breaking the block in, blocks in front of her. Yeah, I like the analogy as well. Nakakagiba ng bahay. There's a kill for the high-speed hitters as they tie the game at 8. No, Dimacolangan still going for the slide attack. One of the 
More effective attacks for Mikareas. Second deadlock of the second set. Oh. Great play by Joby Pagli at the net. Again, so actually was there for the pancake save, but the, se the second touch wasn't there. set of the Guzman to Domingo. Nine all, another close set. Del Palomata. Galanza block again. This is the second block of Del against Galanza here in set number two. No, and Del Palomata really read that well, stayed with the middle for a while, but made that um, one step to the right to block the cross court attack of Galanza. Palomata with five points, two blocks, and three attacks. Oof. Looked like he was going through, but dropped before it crossed the net. Coach Ralph Picaport, his first conference with the high-speed hitters. 10-all. Our third deadlock here in set number two. Mitch Morente, block. Morente will try again. Good save by the Guzman. Galanza. Del Palomata against three blockers. Galanza again. Morante with a save. Back row for Mendrez. Off speed. Dug up by Carlos. It's outside on the push. Oh, great decision actually on the side of Mendrez to slow things down. Going for that, just popping that ball, giving that ball a slow spin. And the Guzman actually the right intention to target zone one, but just too much power in that push. And after that exciting and long <laughs> rally, the high-speed hitters on top by one, 11-10, second set. Morente, dug up by the Guzman, Gumabao. Here's Mean Mendrez. Down the line, dug up again by the Guzman. Galanza, block, coverage by De Jesus. Palomata from the middle. Palomata looking for a block touch. Uh, there was no call. No, because Palomata intentionally wanted yeah. to use the hands of Panaga in the rally, but just too much angle for her in the sequence. So back to a tied game at 11, our fifth deadlock. Mendrez. Excellent defense. Oh, but that play was just read well by the blockers because Palomata wasn't very convincing in her approach. So two blockers there on the side of Dreamline, successful for that kill block. Cool Smashers on top by one, 12 serving 11. Morente blocked by Carlos, but it goes outside. Morente just really using what she's really good at. Mitch Morente with her sixth point ties the game as Jules Simonte comes in for the first time. She did not play against the Chargers, and prior to that, had. Two points in the five-set win against the Angels. 12 all. This could be an advantage on the side of the PLDT high-speed hitters because they don't have any data. 
Gia Guzman, only one blocker. There is so much space for the cross court attack. Thoughts, Carlos, now in double digits with 11, and we're just halfway through the second set. Bad pass by Prado. Samonte over the blocker is picked up by Galanza. Carlos again. She has the hot hands. Back to back points for Thoughts, Carlos. Thoughts Carlos now with 12 coming from 10 attacks, one block, one ace. A timeout for Coach Raul de Caport who listen to the high speed hitters. Yung dun pa sa alanganin kayo ng mga butas butas, sa palo nila ha. Bakit ang kinyari? Timing? Digit sa blank? Digit sa blank. Kung wala nang basa, kagahan nyo na yung pag establish. Wala naman tayong choice yung mga nasa likod. Job. Job. Yung mga ganung gap gap. Ikaw naman na natin. Sige lang. Pasa kayo ngayon ha. Pasa, pasa, pasa. Hey, reality. Together. Now, again, a very technical timeout on the side of Coach Raldrick of Ford. Giving very specific instructions in terms of blocking because he was saying that a lot of the balls coming from the green line goes smashers are, are already out of system. Why is that? There are still spaces in the block. So it's a matter of really establishing themselves and closing the spaces and pressing their hands well because so far, those spaces is being maximized by the attackers of the cool smashers. Mikareas, floor defense of the cool smashers are so good right now. Mitch Morente. Wow, finds an opening through the double block of Carlos and Domingo. And talking about spaces in blocking, Morente always successful in using the hands of the blockers and finding those spaces to score a point. And quietly, Mitch Morente has uh, already nine points. Sorry, seven points for Morente. <laughs> Morente with the dig. Arado will set it up. Prado back row. Carlos. Prado's right there for coverage. Samonte. Dug up by De Jesus. Ooh. Carlos once again. Carlos once again. Now the Guzman and Carlos has built a good connection as well with those fast low sets. Just really perfect for the approach and dump of Carlos. 13 for Tots Carlos already. And it's a two-point advantage for the Cool Smashers. This is their biggest lead of the set. Erika Santos, Wendy and Semana back in the game for the high-speed hitters as Gumabao gets ready to serve. Gumabao. That's outside. It even looked like Samonte made an error not receiving it, Ayel. No, exactly, Samonte hesitated there, was thinking if she should get the ball or not. And just perfect timing for her to let that ball go. There's a challenge on the floor. There's a challenge here. Ball in, ball out by the cool smashers. It looked out from our angle. No, but again, it was so sharp that it almost went in that even Samonte couldn't decide whether to get that ball or not. So let's see what uh, was the result of this challenge. Michelle Gumabao, if that's in, that's going to be her first ace. Ah, it's out. And that, that's about four inches, too. Uh, so it was really out. It wasn't even close. So only a one-point lead now for the Cool Smashers. Uh, Jules Simonte is set to serve. No, and PLDT would want to maximize this opportunity to build that momentum. Ooh. A lot of clean hits for the Cool Smashers, said Rubico. We'll send us to our second technical timeout. Cool Smashers up by two against the high speed hitters, second set.
Watch Gilas Pilipinas on August 25 or August 27 and or August 29. And be entitled to watch the other games scheduled on that day at the Araneta Coliseum. Get your Gilas Day Pass now. Limited passes available by now. San Domingo uh, scoring the last point. She has seven already for the Cool Smashers. Rachel Ostero has uh, had one point in the last game of the high speed hitters, but today is in street clothes as Domingo back to back points. Uh, she has eight already. Oh, Domingo with a great timing in terms of blocking in terms of and in terms of pressing her hands. She just knew which angle Reyes was going to. That's outside. I was about to say the Cool Smashers on a roll here. Uh, yeah, they are. They have the momentum, they have control, and their confidence is pretty high here in set number two. Uh, but in that service, we already saw Todd's Carla's face knowing that that release wasn't the right one for her kind of service. How tricky is the release on a jump serve like what Thoughts Carlos does? No, oh, it, It's very important. It's a crucial part in terms of serving with this kind of style. But again, Domingo just knowing which angles to go to in terms of attacking, even with Palmata in front of her. Third straight point for said Domingo. She has nine already. Four coming here in set number two. Ooh. Service error for Seth Domingo. That's going to be her second service error. Now, so far, uh, serving has been one of the departments that the Creamline Post matchers hasn't been the most consistent so far in this game because they're doing well in blocking, they're doing well in attacking, receiving and digging as well. They're able to convert points, but again, they're committing most of the errors in the service line. Just a two-point game. 16 serving 18. Second set. Great pass by Carlos. So one to play by the Guzman. It's read by Prado. Combination play. The Lanza knocks it in. by Prado again in that one-two play of the Guzman but again they were able they had the coverage and they were able to convert to the classic down the line attack of Galanza facing cross court but attacking down quiet six points for Gemma Galanza good pass from Morente and an easy kill for Del Palamata this is what the PLDD high speed hitters is capable of with better first balls. Again, they really, they can really set up their middles. Uh, and they have the advantage in terms of height and elevation as well. They can power through above with their blockers. Still a two point deficit against the high speed hitters. 17 serving 19. Gumabao blocked again. Here's Garanza. Safe. Not good enough for Catarado. And Galanza will score. That was actually a good deflection on the ball on the side of the PLDT high speed hitters. But Samonte wasn't able to act correctly to save that ball. Big smile on the face of Gemma Galanza. She has seven points. Four coming here in set number two. She already has an ace. That was in the first set. Three point lead for the, for the Cool Smashers. Back to their biggest lead of the set. Morente. Coverage by Dimaculangan. Morente will try again. Blocked again. So far, the full smasher is guarding one of the top attackers of the PLDT high speed hitters. The reason why they're struggling a little bit in terms of score production. And Coach Rodrick Aport calls his last time out. Listen it. So yung sa palo natin, laging may diskarte. Ha? Alam mo na yung ganun feeling, alam mo na yung single block na sa down the line. Sa yung talaga mataas na daanan na. Okay. Ubo ka para makapalo. Last push tayo, kung tayo momentum, ilapit yun ang onde. Oh, go back! Yes! Reality! Yes! Coach 
Rod Bricafort again asking some sets to be a little bit far away from the net because we know that Creebline is also a good blocking team. So when the set is tight, it's easier for them to block the ball. And again, it's the decision making of the PLDT high speed hitters that will matter a lot in terms of attacking. Michael Ortiz, Risa Sato. Uh, getting the crowd excited inside the Phil Sports Arena. This is the biggest lead of the Cool Smashers now. But Morente cuts that down to three. Morente delivers right away after the timeout. Trying to execute what Coach Roderick of course is telling them. Morente now the leading scorer for the high speed hitters with eight points. But they're still down by three. Combination play once again that is outside for Gulabao. Uh, the doctors of uh, the high speed hitters, my best in the was in the right position to force Gulabao to commit that error in the attack. And now, Coach Sherman Menezes calls a timeout. We'll listen in. Too blocky, the strict on Palo Talaganya. Eh, lagi natin konti yung receive dito, git na wan. Okay. Git na wan. Bangs, git na kaagad para dito. Okay. Kung walang receive. Coach Manessas, a very strategical time out there, telling the players where exactly to put the first ball and where exactly to attack. Speed hitters down by two. They were in this similar position in the opening set. Uh, they were unable to make a comeback. Can they do it here late in set number two? Great save by Mika Reyes. Chance ball though for the Cool Smashers. Where does the Guzman go? And Aga makes the kill. middle attackers of the Cool Smashers is able to convert points whenever it's really needed when PLDT is starting to build that momentum. So timing is very important for them as well. And right now, the Cool Smashers getting whatever they want offensively and they're back with a three-point advantage. Good coverage by the Cool Smashers. Tots Carlos. Morente chases it down and can't get to it. And it's back to a four-point lead, the biggest for the Cool Smashers. Yeah, so far, the attacking of the Cool Smashers really putting damage on the defense of the PLDT high-speed hitters. 14 points for Tots Carlos already. Morente. Yes. And Morente has been the spark plug of the PLDT. She has been putting in majority of the points. Nine points so far for Michelle, Michelle Morente. Three-point deficit against the high-speed hitters. 20 serving 23. Set number two. Set Domingo. That is dug up by Arado. Here comes Mendrez. She's been quiet. That's her first point in set number two. Well, Mendrez successful there, targeting the left hand of Domingo. Trying to push the ball in. A much needed point there on the side of PLDT. So two straight points for the high speed hitters. They cut a four point deficit to two. Plus Carlos again, blocked by Mika Reyes. Carlos will try again. Yes! Coach Carlos does have stop of it. Oh, Reyes actually good job there in covering Coach Carlos in the first rally. She tried to go cross court, but again, after that block, Carlos going down the line using the hands of the Macolangan to score that point. 15 for Carlos. This is three set points for the Cool Smashers. Great pass by Prado. Mendrez against two blockers. Carlos picking it up. Back row, Galanza off speed. And that's it. Gemma Galanza with her eighth point. Galanza again, very convincing in that approach, trying to go for a powerful.
triple attack, but last minute going for an off speed, putting the defenders off timing in defense. After a five point win in the first set, this is a four point win in the second set. Full Smashers up two sets to nothing against the high speed hitters. Twenty-five, twenty-one in the second set. Cool Smashers now up two sets to nothing, and this was a set. It the score may seem close, but uh, Cool Smashers more dominant. They had control, they had momentum, and they were always on top here in the second set. Uh, and again, it's the same story. PLDP starting strong, but it was the Cool Smashers that ended the game stronger. Very consistent in terms of attacking and blocking. And serving as well, but they had a couple of errors. But again, it was their service that is putting damage on the first ball of the PLDT high speed hitters. But on the side of PLDT, a couple of sparks for them, a couple of um, clean attacks. But again, it wasn't enough for them to convert a lot of points, especially that they attack a lot of times out of system because of their faulty defense. But in terms of statistics, uh, Creamline really dominating the attacks department as well as the blocking department and surprisingly more aces on the side of the PLDT high speed hitters but again we talked about the strong services of the Creamline even with few aces on their side it was really the speed and the power that put damage on the first balls of the PLDT high speed hitters and more errors also on the side of the Creamline Cool Smashers in that second set. So despite some freebies, some free points going the way of the high-speed hitters, they just could not manage. Their offense not picking up. Uh, Morente with nine. She is the top scorer for the high-speed hitters. Miquereas with seven. Only scored two points, though, in the second set. Uh, they obviously need to step up some more. Tots Carlos was the hero for uh, Cool Smashers in the second set. She has 15, 10 of the 15 coming in the second set. Gumabao. Uh, so far with five, only one point in the second set. But uh, again, because of the dominance of Tots Carlos, I mean, the other players can afford to step back a little bit. And exactly, and that's one thing that the PLDT high-speed hitters really needs to work on. And they can't rely everything to Michelle, um, Michelle Morente. It, it has to be the score production needs to be well distributed as well because Michelle Morente couldn't win no, this game alone because a lot of uh, most of the, the points it comes from the attack. So yeah. no, a lot of work here needed on the side of Rhea de Bacolangan also. She needs to put her attackers in a more comfortable position in terms of attacking because the Guzman so far has been doing a great job in terms of playmaking. Well, we mentioned in their last game, the high-speed hitters had three players in double digits. So far, no player in double digits right now for the high-speed hitters. So, Memorente, Palomata, Reyes, they need to step up here in order to keep this match alive. Uh, there's a denial by Panaga on Morente. Now, and at this point, it's safe to say that the system of the Creamline Cool Smashers is really challenging the system of the PLDT high-speed hitters. As We've seen in the rally the two blockers is powering Michelle Morente. First set with the Cool Smashers on top. one nothing. Galanza, Arado picking it up. Free ball for the Cool Smashers. Panaga. These points are coming in very easily, uh, yeah, for the Cool Smashers. Uh, and credit that, not just in their digging, but really on the decision making and play making of Gia de Guzman, even with not the perfect of first balls, was still able to set Panaga and Panaga delivering that point. Cool Smashers off to a good start here. 2 0, third set. And they're also up two sets 
to nothing. Yeah. Service ace for the Guzman. It's a 3-0 start for the ladies in pink. Uh, and the Guzman is probably the top server on the side of the Pulse Masters. So now she's also contributing in the scoring department. First ace for the Guzman and her first point as well. Galanza through with the block. Galanza knew that she's being guarded in the cross court, so now she recognized that she went down the line using the hands of her blockers as PLDT calls a timeout here. Let's go! Let's go! Very early timeout for Coach Roderick Gafford as we uh, check in with Jaime Ascalon. You know, for Mitch Moretti, there's a little game within a game going on with Pangs Managa. And earlier this morning, she jokingly told me that she told uh, Pangs not to be too complacent because she's playing for more than just a game, but also a little bragging rights as well. But all jokes aside, Mitch has all the love for Cream Line and the Cream Line girls. When uh, lifting weights, and it was lifting weights that kept her sharp while she was still trying to find a uh, team last season. Uh, down two sets to none. It's not over yet for PLDT since there's a lot more Momo energy within them. I take it back as Creamline is leading four to none. All right, thank you, Jaime. Uh, four one. Finally, high speed hitters on the board here in set number three. And there's the infraction stepping on the attack line for Tots Carlos. Prado, quiet four points. Dumabao. That's outside. Akat Arado letting it go. Uh, there will be a challenge, though, from Coach Sherwin Menezes. There's a challenge. Dumabao was actually trying to time that set well because it was too high. Right, he used the hands of the blocker as well. Probably the reason why it went out. Well, was there a block touch or wasn't there? We'll find out. Gumabo only with five points so far. We mentioned she is coming off an 11 point performance. Prior to that, 17 against the crossover, so back-to-back double-digit scoring for Gumabao. Wow! Just by the tip of Dell's middle finger. Well, that was even too fast for us to recognize yeah. the touch from Palomata, but Palomata is mining right now, so he probably knew that it was really going to be a successful challenge on the side of the Cool Smashers. Good call by Shuri Menezes to challenge that. 5 1, Cool Smashers. Palomata. Wait a minute, no double contact? Yeah. On the ball and De Jesus trying to save that second touch. Sharp. Eye by Patrick Allen Castillo, our first referee. Second referee is Erlindo Eusebio. No attack points yet for the high speed hitters. All these the, these two points are off errors by the post masters. Speaking of errors, Del Palomata with her first service error. So, and this is already a uh, crucial for PLDT that they're not starting strong in this set because we know that Dreamline, as the game progresses, they become better and better and more consistent. So they really have to close this gap early on the set. Mendrez just outside. Six, seven. 
Lang and actually doing a good job there, separating the blockers. Only one blocker in front of Mendez, but she wasn't able to maximize the spaces. May I Mendez, three points, three errors as well. So really struggling today is one of the top scorers for the high speed hitters. Micareas knocks it in. Oh, and aside from Morente, it has been the middle attackers of the PLDT high speed hitters who is putting in the scores in for their squad. Micareas with eight points, all from attacks. But the high speed hitters down by four. Three serving seven, third set. Wow. Look at how high Sed Domingo was for that attack. Exactly, and the delay of Gia de Guzman as well in that set. Our crowd inside the Phil Sports Arena, Basic City Gate attendance of more than 7,000 already. And it looks like we have, this is standing room only uh, with the number of people already in the venue. And as, as, you know, yesterday afternoon, there were already, I mean, tickets were sold out already. You, you, you can't find a, a seat to buy anymore. That's how important these games are today, Ayel. No, exactly. A win today will solidify their spot in the semifinals. So very important and crucial games for both teams in the next games as well. Micareas with back-to-back -back points. No, Micareas very efficient in that slide attack, has been going cross part but again she's been targeting the same spot but on the side of the full smashers they haven't adjusted yet in trying to defend the slight attack of Mika Reyes. Reyes with nine she and Mitch Morente top score for the high speed hitters set to Migo once again oh, but the Guzman is really doing a great job catching the hand of her middle attackers, she's really feeding it. The attackers just needs to spike. They can just choose any angles they want. Five points is the biggest lead of the Cool Smashers. Service ace for Fox Carlos. That's gonna be her second ace. And again, Jaime talked about this earlier, them trying to avoid Kat Arado. So one of their options, they've been going to Michelle Morente for the first ball, and they've been successful so far in targeting her. 16 points for Tots Carlos after a 17-point performance in the last game. Blocked by Galanza on the one-two play by Dimaculangan. Prado, yes! Prado using the hands of the Guzman. To score that point, definitely using the smaller blocker there and thought Carlos late in trying to defend that ball. Prado with five. Micareas, we mentioned, with nine points. High speed hitters need to get a long run here. But San Domingo coming alive here in set number three. And again, that connection, the way that the Guzman feeds Domingo for that attack, and Domingo just knowing which angles to go to. Flawless connection there on the side of Domingo and the Guzman. 12 points for Domingo, looking for her first ace. Combination play. Jovi Prado knocks it in. But Jovi Prado so far back to back points on the side of the PLDT high speed hitters. A uh, much needed point for them. Only one blocker also. 
And right now, if you're the high-speed hitters, you can't keep trading points with the Cool Smashers. They need a long stop here. Exactly. They want to keep the ball on their side. There's a block. Two straight points for the high-speed hitters right on cue. They are on the verge of starting a run here. Great timing there for Michelle Morente. No coverage on the side of the Cool Smashers. Now, this is the big question. Can they sustain this mini two-point run and keep it going? Combination play. They get Galanza again. And she redeems herself with a kill. Oh, that was a perfect set for Galanza. Attacking the ball on top of Palomata. That's how high the elevation is of Galanza. 10 points for Galanza already. Third player in double digits for the Cool Smashers. Prado with a push blocked by Panaga. Prado again. Galanza. Cut Arado with a dig. Morente. What a save by the Guzman. There's a net touch. Uh, going to be called against Palomata. Great defense there by both teams, actually. And Cool Smashers just will not allow the high-speed hitters to make a run. It's back to a five-point lead for the Guzman and the Cool Smashers. Del Palomata, that's dug up. The Lanza. Pancake save, Joby Prado is no good. Well, again, earlier we talked about how PLDT is a top receiving team and a top digging team, but it's not showing in today's game because the Bulls Masters is really doing an excellent job in terms of attacking. This is now the biggest lead of the Cool Smashers at seven. Morente. She has 10 points already, the only player in double digits for the high-speed hitters. Gumabao, block. Galanza, a little too close to the net, and an easy block for the high-speed hitters. That was actually on its way out, but got Scarlett there with the coverage. Six-point game, eight serving 14. High-speed hitters just unable to make a run, at least so far. Oh, but they have been successful also in targeting Cops Carlos for the first ball. They've scored a couple of service aces off her hands already in this game. Third ace for Prado, she has seven. Domingo and Valdez. I said Domingo. A great performance so far with 12 points. Kumabao. Rock. That attack from Kumabao was read well by the blockers of PLD. Malumata is credited with a block. That's her third seven points for Dell. But their team down by four. Gumabao, Arado with a dig. Ooh. Jesus. Gumabao again, single blocker. Arado was right there. Del Palomata pushes it through. Oh, Palomata with the tip. And Panaga also off timing in the block. The reason why Pal Palomata was able to power through. First time out for Sherwin Menezes. We'll listen to the Cool Smashers. Hey, Giving specific instructions. 
instructions on how to block and defend Palomata because they know, they have recognized that Palomata is one of the top options in terms of scoring. As you see Kai Balwalwa there on your screens. And again, they know Palomata also as a hitter who goes a lot on power tip, so they really have to defend faster because she's not so much of a, a powerful attacker, but her attacks are very much faster. High-speed hitters on a 4 to nothing run. This is their first run. That's stopped by Gemma Galanza with 12 points already. Oh, but again, Todd's Carlos getting a lot of help from Galanza also, Galanza contributing a lot in terms of scoring. Bad receive from Mendrez. De Jesus with the dig. Carlos. Another point for Tots Carlos. Uh, 17 points already for Tots Carlos. Second technical timeout in set number three. Cool Smashers up by five, 16 11 against the high speed hitters. Remaining games of the high-speed hitters uh, on Saturday, they're going to take on the HD Spikers, and then on the 16th, the Fly Titans. So very crucial games here as we near the, limit, the end of elimination round. And for the Coast Mashers, they have their game against Akari Chargers on March 14th, Tuesday, in Iloilo City. De Guzman with a great dig. Carlos Arado picking it up. Morente. Gumabao into the net. A rare error for the number one sniper in the tournament. No, Gumabao was trying to go for a deep down the line attack, but that ball was just too low for her to do that. Well, despite the error, it's still a comfortable four point lead for the Cool Smashers here. Del Palomata with eight points. Does not have a service ace yet. And will throw that one away. Uh, and at this point, it's very clear that they're trying to target Tots Carlos in the first ball. But there's too much angle and power there on the side of Del Palomata. Panaga with six. Three attacks, three blocks. A very efficient match so far for Pang Spanaga. Nicareas with a push. Carlos. Carlos. Outside. But there is a block touch according to uh, first referee Patrick Alan Castillo. That's Carlos. Last minute decided to go for the down the line attack using the hands or let's say got lucky there, it touched the hands of Gomabao, I mean Morente. Oh, said Domingo, rejects Mendrez. Now, Domingo has been solid, not just in attacking, but in blocking as well in today's game, really closing that cross-court angle of Mendrez. And this is now the biggest lead of the Cool Smashers at seven. 19 serving 12. Great serve. Mendrez. Dimaculangan with the save. Mayan Mendrez tries again. Carlos picking it up. Galanza will play setter. Gumabao on the attack. Blocked by Reyes. And Sergio finding the opening. A quick thinking there on Domingo to go for that attack right away. And right now, a cool smashers. In cruise control here. 
Coach Raleigh Rickafort calls his final timeout. Down by eight points with no more timeouts remaining. What choices are left right now for the high speed hitters? Oh, they just really have to continue playing, try to work on and improve on the departments. They're not working so much as well in today's game because the game is still not done. So there's so much room for them to try to elevate their game. They can still win this set if they execute better. Panaga serves it outside, so that, that'll help the high-speed hitters just a little bit, but they're still down by seven here. Yeah, but again, they have to play consistent volleyball, almost perfect volleyball, because so far, Creamline is playing perfect volleyball on their side. Was that... Good delivery, or was that short, allowing Domingo to commit the error? Well, actually, it, it was a hard set from the Guzman, but she was able to set it well on Domingo. But Domingo was uh, was trying to speed up that ball as well on her way down, but just it, she wasn't successful in that power tip. Mini two-point run here for the high-speed hitters. Gumabao blocked. Gumabao again. Uh, this time off the block. And outside, get the antenna, it seems, so that's off Mendrez. Now Gumabao earlier was blocked and now trying to use the hands of Mendrez to score that point and avoiding that ball on its way down. So that two-point run stopped by the Cool Smashers, so one-two play for the Makulangan. Carlos pushing it, could have been outside, Prado picked it up. Man, Mendrez sends it outside. Uh, Mendrez has been trying to go for that down the line, trying to target zone one because she knows she can do it because the Guzman as a smaller blocker is there, but she has been unsuccessful so far in this game. There's Majid Del Rosario, Jude Torquato. Jude Torquato, our first vice president, head of sports of PLDT. And Majid Del Rosario, manager of the team. There's a point for the high-speed hitters, but again, these have been few and far between. And right now, it, unless something drastic happens, it seems like the Cool Smashers Ayala are going to cruise to a three-set win here. Exactly, because PLDT would score a point, but then Creamline would go for runs. So it's not enough for PLDT to win this set if it's only one point, two points against four points of Creamline. Set Domingo continues. Uh, her offensive display here. 16 points already. So far, Domingo just going for the same angles, but it's the speed of her attacks that is making it difficult for PLDT to defend that ball. Uh, Phil Caetano checking in for the first time. Uh, she played in the last two games, but did not score for the Cool Smashers. What a dig from Mendrez. Here comes Prado down the line, picked up by Carlos Galanza. Arado was right there. Micareyes, again another dig from Carlos. Galanza. Mitch Morente with the up. Micareyes, she scores. No, Phil Cayetano was actually was able to read that well, but was just late in her reaction. Domingo. Prado. Dug up by Caetano. Galanza off the block. Del Palomata with a push. Oh, said Domingo. A triple jump right there. 
excellent athleticism uh, shown here by Seth Domingo. Sends the Cool Smashers to match point. No, she's been very ag aggressive in her attacks in today's game. A lot of clean attacks on her side. This is eight match points for the Cool Smashers. Prado trying to save one. Galanza can close it out. Not just yet, says Arado. A little oh. one to play for Dimaculada and saves one of eight match points. Oh, perfect timing for her to score that one to play. She hasn't done that the entire game so far. But again, she's really capable of uh, being part of the, score, the scoreboard as well. First point for Rhea Dimaculangan. A very important serve. Overpass. Oh! oh! And the overpass does it for the goal of the Smashers. Bravo unable to block it. And the Guzman also faking it, trying to push it through. And fans of the goal Smashers ecstatic at this three set win. Robbie Bernardo not seeing action today along with Eliza Valdez, but uh, the performance of the ladies on the floor enough for this sweep of the high speed hitters in straight sets at the Phil Sports Arena here in Pasig. Oh, again, Dreamline Cools Masters just playing flawless and consistent volleyball. Yeah, three set win. Cool Smashers uh, behind the power of three players in double digits. We'll be back for your best player of the game right after these. A three-set win for the Cool Smashers against the high-speed hitters. Seth Domingo is our best player, and she is with Jaime Escalon. With me right now is our best player of the day, Seth Domingo. Seth, ang ganda nga ng ngayon mo today. Uh, kayo nag-end ng win streak ng PLDT. Alam niyo ba, akalaan niyo ba na matatalo niyo sila in three straight sets? Of course not. Alam, gotta give it to PLDT also for playing a good game. And I think, Ginawa na talaga namin yung game namin, yung role namin, and yun, yun yung naging result. So, no, we did not expect to win three sets. Well, Seth, you had 17 big points today. At kalaban mo nga si Del Palomata and Mika Reyes. Meron bang extra challenge para sa'yo na, you know, to be, to be the best player of the game today and win, and lead Dreamline into a win, a big win against PLDT? Of course, such a big challenge to go up against Ati Del and Ati Mika. Siyempre, lalo na si Ati Del, 
siya yung katapat ko. So, um, I just try to uh, communicate and connect more with Ate Gia para magawa ko yung mga dapat ko. So, at lastly, may gusto ka bang batiin yung mga fans ng Creamline ang lakas ng sigaw today? Ayan, hello sa lahat na nanonood dito. Thank you so much sa pagpunta dito at sa pananood sa mga nanonood sa mga bahay nila. Hello sa management namin, sa Creamline Management, sa Disco Management. Sa family ng teammates ko, um, uh, Katie, hello, and my dog, Bailey, I miss you. And um, uh, good luck kay Ate Janelle sa National League. Bye, everyone. There you have it, our best player of the game, Seth Domingo. Thank you, Jaime. Congratulations, Seth Domingo. Second leading scorer for the Cool Smashers, 17-18. For Tots Carlos Galanza, third best scorer with 12 points. So three players on the board for the Cool Smashers. Enough to put away the high-speed hitters in three straight sets, KL. And again, on the side of the Cool Smashers, they really just played consistent volleyball from start to finish. They didn't really start strong in the first two sets, but they managed to build that momentum until the last set, but on the side of the PLDD high-speed hitters, they, were, they weren't able to sustain that momentum. And it's a good reminder for them that even though they have the strengths of uh, good passing and good digging, there are teams that will really test them in that department. So it's one thing that they need to work on and also better their strengths and try to improve on their weaknesses. But again, Cool Smashers, just team effort on their side, the Guzman doing well in playmaking and their attackers just really delivering the point. But for PLDT, again, a lot of sparks for Palomata as well as for Morente. But again, it's a bit quiet on the side of the wing attacker. So the, re the big reason why the Coast Masters was able to dominate in the attacking department. Only two players in double digits for the high-speed hitters. 11 for Reyes and Morente with 10. So, and again, Cool Smashers really dominating in the attacking department with 48 points there, 31 only for PLDT. More blocks also on the side of, P of Cream Line, but and good timing as well. A lot of balls deflected with their good timing. Four aces for both teams, and both teams also limiting their errors. But again, more errors on the side of the Cool Smashers, but it wasn't maximized by the PLDT high-speed hitters to build the momentum. So, another... Usual day for the yeah. Cool Smashers. Dominant performance by the Cool Smashers to stay on top of the standings against uh, the team with the longest winning streak so far. But that comes to an end today. No more four-game winning streak for the high-speed hitters. In the meantime, it's a three-game winning streak for the league-leading 6-1 and one Cool Smashers. Coming up, the Cargo Movers and the Flying Titans, thanks to our director, Alderi. For Jaime Ascalon, uh, my partner Ayel Estrañero, I'm Eric Tipan. More action in the 2023 Open Conference of the Premier Volleyball League right here on One Sports.